Uh, yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, we were invited to EV Day at the Governor's Mansion. Hopefully you were able to be there. There on display was the latest and the greatest in electrical vehicle manufacturing, Ford, GM, Lions, and Rivian, and some other manufacturers. What is most interesting about this early afternoon event was just a few hours later, Rivian's quarterly earnings call would be out. This leads us to today's number. Today's number is $38,784. That's right, every Rivian vehicle on display that had been manufactured recently had been losing $38,784. This is on the heel of the governor's announcement late last week of cash in tax incentives to Rivian to the tune of just over $800 million. When you do the math on that, that's over a million and a half dollars per every job that's to be created. Of course, this is on the announcement after last fall's $125 million cash infusion into Goshen Battery, one of America's foreign adversaries, which hasn't produced a single product yet. So why is this important? It's important because it impacts your neighbors and mine. They elect us and pay the freight for us to be here every day to be good stewards of their dollars. The governor needs almost a billion dollars of additional new revenue to make the fiscal year 25 budget truly balanced. This will more than likely come up from a series of proposed revenue enhancements that will drive up the cost of living in Illinois. The experts agree more revenue is needed or spending will need to be cut. The question I have is where is the money going to come from? Did the construction workers dig up buried treasure in the front lawn of the Capitol complex recently? The governor continues to spend well over a billion dollars a year on a population of people that are in this country illegally. Now he is spending a billion dollars on electric vehicle and manufacturing subsidies. He continues to grow the size of government through new and expanding programs. Let me ask you, how many government subsidies did it take to make that phone that's in your pocket or lying on your desk the top of the market? That's right, zero dollars. And as if the subsidies aren't enough, the governor has proposed hundreds of millions of dollars in sales of these electrical vehicle companies by forcing the state to purchase 10,000 electric vehicles by the year 2030 for the state fleet. The numbers speak for themselves. If people want EVs, they will buy them. If they don't want the EV, they won't buy them. No amount of taxpayer-funded subsidies will ever change that. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, it's past time to rein in the out-of-control spending and let's do right by the people of the state of Illinois. Thank you.